What's up, YouTube? It's Dandy Man coming back at you with another quick battle replay, and then this one we are the Lizardmen versus the Dark Elves, uh, and uh, yeah, this is a really close game, really fun game, and man, did you make me work for it again? Geesh, jeez, Louise, oh my goodness! All right, cool. So let's go over army composition. We got a Skink Chief on the Pterodon with his little blow dark gun. We've got two, count them, two, Pharaoh Stegodons. Where the heck did his legs go? <laughs> his legs went into him. Alrighty. Uh, we've got one Scar Veteran on a on a Carnosaur. I was about to say Pharaoh Carnosaur, but it's just Carnosaur. One uh, Slan Mage Priest of High Magic with uh, Tempest and Apotheosis, guarded by his illustrious Temple Gods. The, the dandy, dandy gods, dandy gods, <laughs> dandy gods. A uh, group of Saurus warriors with shields, about four of them right here in a straight line. Uh, and uh, we've got two chameleon skinks over here in the forest being all schnickelack, schnickelack, schnickelack. All right, so my opponent is with, uh, has come with Malekith on his black dragon. Has a group of shades. In the front, just regular shades. Um, I believe are they anti-infantry or anything? No, just regular shades in the front. Uh, let's see here. We got dread spears on each flank. In the middle, we've got two black card corsairs and two black card of Nagarons and two groups of witch elves. All right. So without further ado, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> All right, so in the beginning, where I am allowing him to move up, I did not see these shades, and now I do. <laughs> Thankfully, to my skin chief for taking all the pot shots, which is great. That's fine for by me. Look how bloody he got just from a few volleys. Jeez. So my whole point is just for my skin chief to pepper uh, Malekith the whole time, and here I get to cast a tempest. Boom. And this is an overcasted Tempest. And it is doing quite uh, quite the damage to him. Pretty good, I might add. My Skink Chief is also uh, shooting inwards. The Saurus Warriors are going to get out of the way. And uh, yeah, that did, that did pretty good damage. It wasn't too bad. Right here, we are shooting into his back line where the Dread Spears are. He casts a Gaze of Malice right there. I'm casting a Shield of Safri over here to keep my leadership up against these Black Art of Nagron because these Source Warriors are going to need it. Casting Noxious Breath right there in the middle. Gross some Source Warriors. My, uh, my Saurus Scarf Edit is already, um, Rampaging, but it must probably is because of uh, everything that's going on over here. All this funny, it's funny business. Uh, I can't have these shades running amok in my back line, so I have sent my uh, Feral Stegonons to uh, occupy them for a bit. He's doing the smart thing and separating all of them, which is fine by me, as long as they are all separated and not peppering at me. Um, these chameleon skinks are still peppering on this back line. Another gaze of malice on my temple guard. Really wants to get rid of them, but is not doing the damage he should be. Right here, my scar veteran is uh, taken out of the fight. And in this fight is just the one scar source veteran. But you're going to see that these temple guard are going to come into it right now. And I'm going to lay down a banishment right here. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Look at the damage that caused to all his units right there. Look at that. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautifully done. Uh, Temple Guard are in it to win it right there. Uh, my Pharaoh Stegonauts are doing what they're supposed to do. Just keep keeping these guys just out of my way. And Malekith is caught one more time by my overcasted Tempest. And really... Uh, this game, I was trying to get him out of my way um, because Malekith will wreck my day if he's allowed to do anything. And in this game, I also messed up a little bit as well. 
um, in my micromanagement. Uh, Malekith is very low on health. Uh, this side of the battlefield, my, these Dread Spears are trying to chase away these Chameleon Skinks, but they're just getting shot at from behind, <laughs> which is awesome. Look at them. They're just looking to go down little by little. Uh, his his shades are free to shoot, which is a very bad thing for me. And it looks like the power bar is in my favor, but it's 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 anybody's game at this point. Uh, this temper guard are taking a beating from the shades. Um, luckily, this group of Star Wars, Star Wars warriors are rampage straight are rampaging straight into them. This scar veteran rampages straight. Into a Black Guard of Nargon. Luckily, he'll, though, he'll be supported by some Star Wars shields, but the Black Guard of Nargon is going to take a hit. Um, another Tempest <laughs> on Malakid. Yes, I know. Someone will be saying, man, you guys, you just cheese the crud out of Malakid. Honestly, I had no other choice. <laughs> it was either cheese the cr crud out of Malakid or lose the game. <laughs> but, uh,. Right here, I make a very fatal mistake, and I put my lord in combat with the witch elves. I did not see the witch elves for some reason. At some point, I was just I was ignoring them. He casts a soul eater on my slam mage priest, and we're gonna see my lord go down very quickly. And he's gonna shift his bar back into his favor. I still have one feral stegadon over here in the back. Trying to get rid of this little group of shade. My skink chief is still peppering Malakas, just poking him, annoying him. And I still have my two chameleon skinks over here, which I'm going to bring over uh, very soon. But you can see my lord is taking a hit. He is going down very quickly, and he is not long for this world. And this is a mistake. Learn from me, people. Don't send your lord in. Check the units before. <laughs> Because I did not check the units, and I paid for it with my lord. Which, uh, was not fun. Not fun at all. So at this point, I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna lose this. There's no way. There's no way, no way. I'm trying to save my lord for the little bit of health that he has. Uh, Malithkis, though, is going to, uh, take him down with one final charge. And in he goes, and that's it, right there. There goes the Slam Mage Priest. Bye bye, Slam Mage Priest. It was good knowing you. <laughs> but uh, luckily enough, my Scar Veteran comes back. He's gonna lay some smacking down. My Skink Chief is still going strong. My Temple Guard have been routed, and at this point, it looks like he has the advantage. But, but. The heroes of the Lizard Band. The unsung heroes, the little, little skink, chameleon skinks of the Lizard Band. Oh, they're the best ever. They are the best, best, best of the best. My Scar Veteran is not going to last long against the Black Guard of Nagrand. And all the shots being fired by the Shades. Now, at this point, you can see that. The it's at 180 to 176. It's very much still anybody's game. He could come back really quick. Even though Malekith is very, very close to dying. Very, very close to dying. Here come my skink, chameleon skinks, to tie up uh, these shades. Um, my feral stung on there at their routes. And here we go. The heroes of the lizard band right here. These chameleon skinks, I love them so much. Um, they're awesome. They're so good. My skink chief is still chasing away um, Malekith. These, uh, they're still being able to shoot. This, this one group over here, which kind of stinks. He won't <laughs> land. <laughs> My temple guard are returning, which is a good thing. And it just comes down. To this little thing right here, and if you didn't notice, down went Malekith to a shot from my Skink Chief. Right there. Temple Guard coming in. And that should be game. Right there. Awesome. 
awesome battle. It was really, really close. Uh, I did a lot of mistakes micromanaging it. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was a very fun fight. The heroes <laughs> of the Lizardmen win, won the day for us. <laughs> All right, so uh, end of replay battle screen. 71 kills for my Slime Mage Priest. That's from uh, the Banishment. And for the little while that he was stuck in combat. 65 kills for Star Wars. My Skink Chief did exactly what he was supposed to do, which was annoy the crowd out of Malekith. Sars Warriors did great front line, and uh, Temple Guard are a great defense for any large that decides to come in. Um, Feral Stegodons, I like them. This is the first time I use them in multiplayer. They were decent. Um, I just have to micromanage them a little bit better. I have to work on my micromanagement with them. Uh, and the heroes of the Elizabeth, the these Chameleon Skinks, what can I say about them? They're amazing. <laughs> Malachit, 35 kills only. Um, his front line didn't do too well. This Witch Elf did pretty good, and this uh, Black Art Nargon did very well as well. Um, and these shades, for some reason, didn't didn't perform as well as I thought. Maybe yeah, I think they picked up a good amount of chevrons because of the damage they were able to do, though. That's for sure. All right. So, but uh, great game to my opponent. Uh, if you guys like the content, please leave a like, uh, subscribe to keep up to date with all my shenanigans. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay dandy and peace!